Today, we are making a must-have fly for all fly fishermen. To begin this pattern, we will start by wrapping a lead-free wire around the head of our fly. Take several wraps around your hook shank and finish by jamming it into the bead. We will then select some black thread, secure this tightly to our hook shank, snapping the excess free. Use your thread to secure the excess wire and also secure all the wire wraps in place. Helicopter the excess free and begin wrapping to the bend of our hook. Here we will build a small thread dam that will become important in our next step. Grab some brown biots, select two and place them in a V formation, tying them onto the back of the fly. Secure tightly and wrapping up the hook shank until we reach our wire. Snip the excess free and grab some brassy wire. Here I've selected chartreuse, which is one of my favorite variations. Secure your wire tightly to your hook shank and wrap back towards our biots. Once complete, smooth out the back section of your fly and wrap your thread forward, leaving a little bit of room for the next steps. Next, we will grab our wire and begin wrapping these in closed spirals until we reach our thread. Do your best to allow each wrap to touch the previous one, leaving no gaps. This is a little easier with a rotating vise, but can be done without it. Once we reach our thread, we'll secure the wire in place and helicopter the excess free. Select some uni mylar, here I'm using pearl. Tying it just behind the bead and wrapping back towards our wire. We will then select some thin skin, here I'm using clear. Tie this around the head of our fly, once again wrapping back towards the wire. Our next step will be grabbing some peacock curl. Selecting about two to three fibers and securing them to the head of the fly. Once complete, we can begin wrapping our peacock curl forward towards our thread. Secure by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. Next, grab a partridge feather. I prefer to select a darker brown feather. Snip off a section so it forms a V. Tie it just behind the bead so it looks something like this. With this complete, fold over your thin skin and secure it just behind the bead. You will then grab the stem of our partridge feather, pulling it forward carefully to shorten our wings. I like to stop when my wings reach where my wire started. Once happy, snip the excess free, fold over your mylar, and secure it tightly in place. Snip both the mylar and the thin skin off closely and whip finish to hold everything in place. An important part of this pattern is some UV resin. This one in particular is my favorite. You can find it in the links below. And add a drop of it just behind the bead covering our wing case. If you'd like to support the channel and pick up a few of these, you can find them listed in all my favorite variations in my fly shot listed below. And if you'd like to win this one, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and comment hashtag flies for your chance to win.